Thanks very much. It's, uh, it's very important to us to have community testing of NetBeans. And um, as Eric said, the community can really decide that... Uh, just one last point. Yes. You may have gifts like this. Yes, if you, you may get a NetBeans t-shirt. <laughs> We're actually working on a new T-shirt right now. <coughs> you, may have, you, you have lots of free work. Yeah. Free work so yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, get a, you get a nice T-shirt. <laughs> yes. So it's very important, and it's you know the community has a real impact because if the community decides that NetBeans is not ready for the release, then we delay the release. It's it's really uh, in that way uh, important. Actually, here is. Um, Pencil Yavitska, the, the leader of the Java EE uh, team, giving a t-shirt uh, to one of the NetCat people. So, uh, very quickly, there's also uh, many other parts of NetBeans. There's the uh, NetBeans Dream Team, and there's many people involved. So these are people all over the world, uh, Jamal Torch, and you know, people um, everywhere in the world who are not working for Oracle, not working for NetBeans. Um, and who are talking about NetBeans at conferences and are very active, have a very active uh, profile. Everyone knows about them and, and those kinds of things. Um, there's a teacher's community. If you're teaching um, in the classroom using NetBeans, at some point you need to explain to the class how to use NetBeans. And instead of every single teacher creating their own um, introduction to NetBeans slides, it might be useful to be able to share your, your presentations with others. So on Google, uh, Google Groups, there is a community of NetBeans teachers, um, including, uh, for example, Clément Lavoie, who is from uh, Nice. Um, so there's also French teachers in here. Um, and the, the, the purpose is just to be able to, to write to this community and say, hey, I'm going to be talking about security, for example, uh, Java and security. How would I present that with NetBeans? Or I'm going to talk about uh, file I/O uh, in Java. How can I use NetBeans in, in that context? And then other teachers in this community will help you and give you slides and give you tips and things like that. Um, there is a translators community. So NetBeans IDE itself um, should always be available in certain languages that are supported uh, by Oracle, like uh, Chinese and Russian, Spanish. For other languages. Um, we have a community of people who translate NetBeans um, and the website and the tutorials. So that is something uh, that you can get involved with too. Um, there is a children's community, so Epic Org UK, and this stands for Encouraging Programming in Kids. And if you have heard of DevOps for Kids, it's something similar to that. Um, and what they, what often happens is that you're a programmer and you have children, and you would like to have a simple way to get your children to start programming. So you can see here, there's NetBeans, and here's a father, and here's children, and they have all come on a Saturday morning to one of these um, uh, epic uh, sessions, and what the children do is they play Minecraft. So Minecraft is written in Java, and it's um, available as a NetBeans project. So they start by playing Minecraft, and they're just playing the game, they already know Minecraft, they're playing it, and then somebody says to, to them, wouldn't it be nice if you could um, shoot faster? or make bigger explosions. And then the child says, sure. And then, then someone shows them, if you change this value from a 1 to a 10, and then slowly um, the children start hacking the code and learning about the differences between the different uh, types in the type system in Java and things like that. So in a playful way, uh, children get involved in, um, in programming. And they use NetBeans, of course. Um, and Minecraft is a good entry point. Um, there's also a podcast, so on an irregular basis we release a podcast where we talk to different people around the world. Um, what there also is, is a site on oracle.com, this is very important. So here on oracle.com there is a site for NetBeans. And on this site we have a list of companies who are using NetBeans. So if you are a company where NetBeans is used, if, it's, if you're in a startup, an enterprise, at a university, we would love to highlight you and promote you for free. Um, and what happens is, you <coughs> give us a nice quote you know, from NATO, for example, from Microchip. They give us a quote and we do a customer case study with them. So, um, and we, we promote you for free um, just because you're using NetBeans. 
and we do a customer case study like this with you and we find out about who you are and what your business is and, and what the challenges are and how NetBeans helps you. So if, if you are doing a project um, inside of a company, um, if you are a company using NetBeans in any way at all, we want to help you and promote um, the work that you're doing. We really need to get more and more messages out there about um, NetBeans usage. So, um, you can be involved in this community in different ways. And one of them is there's a series of articles called My Five Favorite NetBeans Features. Okay? And a couple of people in this room, for example, uh, Jamal Torch over there from Algeria. Um, here is an article where he talks about um, the, the five things he likes. And I think these kinds of articles really help to, to bring the message across because you have to focus on five specific things. So here, um, and Jamel talks about the, the editor, and he talks about the Cordova support, and that um, I showed a little bit, and the code generators, the GUI builder, and the services window. And that's it, just five specific things. So we have a long series of articles like that, and another one is uh, Nabras, who is going to be talking soon. So um, he's got a, an article like this, where five uh, favorite features are summarized, with many screenshots to give a, a clear overview of, of what, why NetBeans is, uh, is useful. So that is one way in which you can get involved. Um, you can join the NetCat community. We definitely need more uh, people from France to be involved. Uh, you can join the teachers community. Um, there's also a series of articles about why NetBeans is great for teaching. So teachers are writing articles about this. These um, Oracle customer case study that I showed. Um, there's a podcast, you can do small interviews. And also, we will come for free to any school or university that wants us to do a workshop. So we do this quite often. Um, we go to a university or a technical college, and maybe for two or three hours, we give an overview of NetBeans, and we do hands-on exercises with students. Because often when a teacher uses NetBeans in the classroom, they use it for a specific reason, to teach Java. Um, and so they know a few things, enough to do the teaching but they don't know everything, and so we give them an overview to the whole class of, 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 the, of the useful keyboard shortcuts and tips and tricks and how to use Git easily and, and things like that. So we do this for free at universities, technical colleges, and at schools. Um, we go to companies uh, to talk about the NetBeans platform. So later on today, uh, we'll talk more about that, about the NetBeans framework, which is used at Boeing and at Airbus and at NASA and at ESA and at these large organizations. Um, and uh, at UNESCO, as you will see, um, and uh, NATO, and many um, organizations use this framework. So with that, we go uh, to companies for money. So um, it's, that's normally a paid um, event. And you can also help by helping to organize uh, events like this um, in other places. So already we're talking about going to Toulouse for a, a NetBeans event. Um, we, we really want to help people um, get started programming with Java and with JavaScript and these are NetBeans. So, this is what we are trying to achieve. We want to help people um, program. Thank you very much for the opening.